Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw one point perspective and we're going to draw three boxes using one point perspective. You need something to draw with. I think it's best to use a pencil. We will be erasing a lot of our lines today. And a ruler. I like these clear rulers because it's easier for me to see my dots. But even if you just have something straight, you know, that you can use to connect lines. And if you want to just eyeball it, that works too. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a horizon line across the middle of our paper. The horizon line is where the sky meets the land. For example, if this was our horizon line, this would be a road. Here's the road getting smaller as it goes to. Here's some mountains and the sun, right? It's all coming to this one point, which is why this is one point perspective. So we're going to draw three boxes, one above our horizon line, on our horizon line, and below our horizon line. Before we draw the box, let's put in our vanishing point. I'm going to put an X. That is our vanishing point, so that's like this point here in this little drawing. This is where everything appears to come together. Now let's draw our boxes over here to start with. To draw a box, you just draw two vertical lines that go up and down and two horizontal lines that go from side to side. You're gonna draw one above, on, and below. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit smaller. And the one below. So now we have these three squares and they're just floating here. We wanna connect them to our vanishing point. I'm gonna erase the horizon line in front of this one so it's a little bit easier to see. Grab your ruler and we're going to connect these three points of our top box to our vanishing point, making the side of this box first. And I would recommend drawing really lightly for this so we can see the side and the bottom. This isn't a box quite yet, it's more of a big long rectangle. So we're going to connect these two sides so we can only see the side of this box. I'm going to erase the horizon line. And then let's go ahead and draw the top of this box first by connecting this point and this point to our vanishing point. And then let's connect this bottom point. I guess I could call it a corner. Now if these were clear, then we could connect this line too. I'll do it on this top one. This was like a glass cube then we would see that corner as well. To keep it simple, we're just gonna be drawing some solid boxes. What we wanna do is figure out how big to make this box. You can make it as wide as you want. Just try to keep your lines vertical. When we end this box, this line needs to be parallel or running next to this line, so it needs to be vertical as well. We're gonna have to redraw that line and we need that one to be horizontal. So let's go ahead and figure out, let's make this one about that wide and then I'm just trying to keep this line that I'm drawing parallel to that line right there. And this box, and let's end the top of this and the side of it. As you can see, we have these lines drawn, but it's still kind of hard to see our boxes, so I'm gonna erase these lines. This is our horizon line. So we have our three boxes. So the box that's above us, we can see the bottom of it. The box that's in front of us, we can see the side of it and the front and the box that's below us, we can see the top of it and the side and the front. Really quickly, this is a little bit more advanced if you wanna try this out. I'm going to carve a hole through my box because I want to be able to see all the way through it. Now it just looks like maybe a square that I've drawn on the front of it, but now I want it to look 3D. You're gonna bring this corner back to the vanishing point. This point would go through it and this point would go through it. We need to add this line here because we need to add a line that's parallel to that line and then another horizontal line in here. Now we can kind of see through this box. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Click on the next link if you want to learn how to draw letters in one point perspective.